I'm Garth McKenzie from traderscorner.co.za, and this is your weekly look at the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ indices. So we start, as we always do, with the daily chart of the S&P 500. And the big level that I discussed last week was 34.25 and mentioned that the market needed to pull back into that region and possibly find support there. It did find some support last week at that area, but unfortunately, it's been unable to hold on to that support level. And yesterday's big move to the downside saw the market crack down below 34.25. And that's now sees the price below the 15-day exponential moving average and also flirting with the 50-day moving average at the moment. So price would need to probably get back up above 34.25 quite quickly in order to repair any short-term technical damage that has been done there. If that can't happen, then there's a gap lower down on the chart closer to 3300, which would potentially come into play. If we take a look at the hourly chart of the S&P 500, you can see there what I'm referring to a little bit more clearly. You can see the significance of the 3425 lateral support level that was broken yesterday. And now that support level becomes resistance. So any push up into 3425 might potentially be met with some resistance. Above that level, up at about 3440, 3450, there's some resistance offered by the top of a channel structure that seems to be forming over there now. If the market does continue to make lower lows and lower highs, then that gap down at 3300, which comes in from late September, is possibly a downside target that one could keep an eye on if the market were to remain weak in the next couple of days. If we then turn our attention to the NASDAQ, we start with a look at the daily chart here. And the big uh, level technically that we've been keeping an eye on here is 11,600. You can see how that level was broken to the upside earlier this month. It was a bullish break. And we've spoken about a pullback to retest that 11,600 area over the last week or so. Once again, much like we saw in the S&P 500, you can see that that technical level has been broken to the downside. And the price action is currently below the 15-day exponential moving average. And it's also flirting with the 50-day moving average here. There's a downward sloping channel evident there. And the price would need to break out above the top of that channel to reinstate the bullish bias here. If we then take a look at the hourly chart of the NASDAQ, you can see the trading action more clearly here. There you can see, again, a downward sloping channel that's been evident for the last two weeks or so. Um, 11,600 is a big level, as I mentioned, and that was a support level last week. It's now been broken to the downside, and that would potentially offer resistance into a rally now. The market would need to push out above that 11,600 level again quite convincingly in order to reinstate any potential bullish view with a move then back out of the top of that channel back up to the recent highs. If, on the other hand, the market can't get up and it fails at 11,600 and turns lower once again, then do keep an eye on that gap down at 11,200 from late September. That would be a possible downside target if the market was to trade weaker from this area. That's all I've got for you this week. I'll be back again next week with another look at the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ indices.